Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for August 6th through the 12th. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that my readings are generally love readings. We will see whatever comes up. And if this feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. If this reading, if you don't think this reading is yours, then it's then it's not. Okay. So this is for Virgo. The 6th through the 12th, keep in mind, again, that the timing is always fluid. So this could have happened, could be happening now, could be happening in the future. <laughs> flirt, flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. That is never a problem, is it, Virgo? Lighthearted energy, love it. What does Virgo need to know? You guys may be in a situation that you are bored of. Maybe you're bored, you're, you're doing everything in your power to stick it out, to hang on, to persevere. Not sure what this is, but somebody is is finding the strength to, to really, really hold on, but perhaps really not wanting to, okay? Um, and because, you know, you're, you're concentrating on something, you're probably not seeing another opportunity. Interesting. Oh, you're not acknowledge, acknowledging another opportunity. This is freedom, liberation, perhaps with somebody from your past. There's memories of the past or memories of love that are holding you back from some sort of happiness, okay? There's some sort of memories that are holding you back, okay? They are, th this is thoughts, okay? It's thoughts, and this is when you let go of those thoughts or memories. You know, you have to let them go. There's some sort of... wounded warrior you know you've been wounded so bad in the past I think you're hanging on to what you know interesting and I happened to turn this deck over and I don't ever I always turn it over like this and this was just sitting down here like this walking away walking away so somebody may need to walk away from something to to get this this opportunity of love just saying. We're going to continue shuffling and see what comes up. Oh. You know, the storm is almost over. It is. But I think that you need to, you need to take that last step. Closure is needed. Somebody's feeling empty and lost inside. Unable to find their focus, their confidence, their self-worth, and self-esteem to free themselves from something. Completion, completion, both tens. This is a closure, a closure that is needed of some sort. This is a completion of perhaps a phase in your life that was, that you were once committed to. I feel like you guys are afraid of conflict. You're afraid of setting up your own boundaries another 10 completion 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 this is personal freedom making a conscious change virgo another completion with the world card so we have big time completions here like a completion is needed an ending is needed now maybe somebody needs to move home or change dynamic in their home but they're afraid of the conflicts they're afraid of what the consequences will be. You know, there's a feeling of something that needs to end, but somebody is not taking the action to do so. 
This is a conscious change is needed to drop what no longer serves you. Even if it hurts, it's about doing the right thing for you. You know, there's a feeling of trying to compromise, trying to do the right thing, trying to do learn new skills, do whatever to, to make something stable and secure. But if it's not meant to be stable and secure, if it's not meant to, I mean, you can't. I mean, you can you can work you can persevere for as long as you possibly can but if in the end it's not making you happy then you're going to continue to feel empty and dead inside okay so i think that you're projecting stability and security to the outside world but your challenge is emptiness on the inside and it's up to you to, to make that conscious change. You know, this King of Wands, that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be anybody taking on that energy. But I think it's you taking on that energy of lack of self-worth, lack of self-esteem, lack of self-confidence. It's lack of and reversed. You have to love yourself. Put yourself first. Love, 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 love yourself. Right now, you are not mastering your emotions as much as you need to because if you did, you would always follow your heart. Somebody's not following their heart and they're being called to follow their heart instead of the status, society. This guy, the King of Wands, cares about what everybody else thinks. There's no victory in success until you love yourself. Until you replace fear with faith. Somebody's not replacing fear with faith. You need to find your confidence, your courage, your strength, that force within you. Allow growth to happen. Get creative. You may have a choice between two people, Virgo. One could be a water sign, one could be a fire sign. I think you, you know, I think you do. I think you have a choice between two people. And it doesn't matter what their signs are. I think that you, that you do, okay? You have a choice between two, two scenarios. It doesn't matter what their signs are, okay? You do. And, and I feel as though one of them is making you very unhappy, but it's stable, it's secure. And the other one is more passionate. And, you know, you, you have a lot of fear of, of following your own heart. I mean, that's what this is. But there's no justice not following your own heart, and you will get bad luck and bad karma until you do. Somebody isn't doing the right thing. I think it's you, Virgo. I do. I think it's you hanging on to something that is dead, dead end. I mean... Closure is needed, but somebody isn't allowing it to happen, and that's a terrible injustice. It's weighing you down, okay? It's, these are the, both heavy, heavy weight. It is. It's weighing you down. You're holding on for dear life. Holding on to something that is... It's tangible, yeah, but there's no love in it. Money doesn't buy love. Stability doesn't buy love. And it's the ego talking. This is the card of ego. It is in the, in the minor. It is. Minor arcana. Okay. It's really not worth it even though you think it is. It's time to make that judgment call. It's time to open your eyes. Wake up. It's a wake-up call. Accept the truth, see the truth, speak the truth, be the truth, release the past. There's an opportunity for some sort of epiphany. Maybe an epiphany is coming in in regards to what you deserve. It is. It's like you're starting to realize the truth, that you might have to walk away from something. 
the fear. The fear is great. Believe in yourself, Virgo. This could be a, uh, a second chance. Somebody may want another chance with you or, or you're trying to work on another chance with somebody else. Another chance. This could be a Pisces. This could be a Cancer. We have a Libra up there. I feel like, you know, somebody may want, may, may be coming to you with the truth. Whatever this is. Maybe they, you know, you had some competition or there was some pettiness. There was some, some fights. But I think there's going to be some, some revelation, some reveal, some truth that is coming out. I do. Whether it's from you within your inner guide or another person is coming to you to, to settle up. It feels like somebody is, is wanting to regain the structure, take back control of their lives. Now here we have Aries. This is somebody who is very dominant, very strong, stable, wants to make a solid offer for something long term. Somebody that is very, very wise. Somebody has gained a lot of wisdom. And they've stalled. Somebody has stalled and been indecisive and may have went with another option. What is this, Virgo? Somebody may have went with another option. They're thinking about their options, or they did. And it, and it caused some instability in their life, or in your life. So I think there's a lot of instability here. And now somebody's trying to regain the control that has been lost. Yeah, there's been a lack of wish fulfillment. I think you're, you're dealing, that you have somebody coming in, Virgo, that wants another chance with you because they couldn't find wish fulfillment elsewhere. That's what it looks like to me. Interesting. Now, this will not resonate with all of you. I feel like for some of you, your your closure is, is something isn't over yet, okay, with the world card. Something isn't over yet. It's not done. It's not done. And so I feel like you're going to receive an offer from somebody in your past. I do. I do. I think that you're going to receive an offer from somebody from your past that has caused a lot of drama and conflict in your life. And now they want to, they want to come in to, to make it right in some way, to do the right thing. But why? Mm. Because you gave up? Because there was no growth elsewhere? This is no growth, no fertility. I think that you are dealing with somebody who didn't see your worth. And now they probably want a new opportunity. But anyway, I feel like you have a choice between somebody in the past and somebody new. You do, because I saw two people, and this is, could be a new suitor. Maybe this person sees that you have another opportunity. What the hell is this? Oh, my God. So there's an opportunity for love here with somebody. <laughs> could be somebody from your past. Could be somebody new. You have a choice between either or. Do you go forward with somebody new or do you go back to the past? That's what this question is. That's what this is about. I feel like there's an opportunity for, for love here that is very exciting. I mean, there's an exciting opportunity, an exciting offer. I think you're going to be receiving some sort of message communication from somebody that really rocks the boat. And, you know, I feel like maybe you're dealing with a Taurus as well. I don't know. But I think there's a lack of faith. There's a lack of trust. There's a lack of, of, of believing what you're hearing, what you're seeing. Believing any of this. It's like, oh, my God. 
You know, I feel like there was a, a lack of integrity. You may have been dealing with somebody who had a wandering eye, or even could be you. And if you have a wandering eye, it's be, there's a reason for that, okay? Your inner guide is trying to push you to make a decision. If you have a wandering eye, your inner guide is saying, no, 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 no. You need to make a decision. You need to do something about it. But a lot of people ignore that inner guide, you know. But anyway, um, somebody has an offer of love that is coming in. Because somebody hasn't, the past hasn't found wish fulfillment elsewhere. And they have now realized what you're worth. And they realize, you know that they love you. Now, another option is that you have somebody new that is off because this is a new suitor. Okay? You have two options. There's there's no doubt about it. I feel like many of you Virgos have two options. There's an option from the past and there's an option of new. This is somebody a new suitor that it that is here around that probably wants to make you an offer but can't make you an offer because you're stuck in some sort of commitment with somebody else. I don't know what that is. Or you're you know, you're not sure what the hell you want. <laughs> Whatever this is. Yeah, you're stuck. I knew you were. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on now. Now this is Pisces, so I'm not sure if you're dealing with the Pisces. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Aries quite a few times. We have Taurus. Um but I do see that you're going to have to make a judgment call and you're going to have to make a choice. I feel like there's a choice between two people. And right now you're going to have to see things from both perspectives and, you know, do what's right for you. Because of the, with that Queen of Cups, with the Queen of Wands, do what's right for, do what's right with, for you, please. Okay? Don't, don't do, put yourself first, please. I'm, I'm begging you to put yourself first. Um, your own needs. Um, I feel like you've been enlightened. I think that you are going through some sort of awakening and you know what you need to do. But in order to... You, w closure is needed in one situation, whichever situation that is. Some kind of completion needs to happen because we have all these tens and the world card. So anyway, I feel like there's an opportunity for a new partnership here with with you know somebody from the past or somebody for from the future you know what I mean whatever you want to call that there's commitment marriage perhaps your your intuition is telling you what to do you know what you need to do and this could whatever's happening here this love connection is part of the written script I feel like there is definitely some truth that is going to be revealed that asks you to make a heavy decision with the justice card the ten of swords and these two's decisions, decisions, a decision needs to be made. I mean the Ten of Wands, a heavy decision. This is, I said Ten of Swords, but anyway. The Ten of Swords is up there, but anyway. Um, I feel like something has ended and now it's coming back around to, to settle, the, settle the score. And it's up to you to, to decide if you want it or not. Do you, what do you, what the, what do you want? What do you want? So that's what I see. I'm going to get you one of these oracle cards here. I feel like there's an opportunity for commitment. Your intuition is telling you the answer. So the answer is within you. I see that. I think you know what you need to do. But fear of the unknown is huge here. I feel like you're really stuck on, stuck on making a choice between two paths. And that this is a week of perhaps being forced with making a decision. You have to make a decision. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Virgo, please give us an oracle card for Virgo. A good one. A good one. Oh, come on. That's the one that fold, folded over, so that's what we're going to use. Um, big, bold vision. Now, we've had this one before. Sorry I didn't zoom that in, Virgo, beforehand. Sometimes that happens. Everything happens for a reason. Maybe it didn't go, get zoomed in and it just came to me because you didn't want to see it. You didn't want to see it. You wanted to see it, but you didn't. Fifteen. 
15 converts to a 6. Get your life back on track. It's time to get your life back on track. You were not born to play a small role in life. You have the ability to dream big, even if you absolutely have no idea about how your visions can come to pass or what all the details may look like. You can access the heart and guts of a vision by tapping into your wildest dreams and surrendering attachment to exactly how it will all work out. The details are up to the creative genius of the universe. Remember I said it's part of the written script? Okay, whatever. Um, you are an active contributing participant, but not the sole player in your life journey. There is something, a vision or an idea that is coming to you. You may worry that it's too much, but don't worry. It's meant to be yours. Although you might have some adjustments to make and some tweaking to do to let go of your limited thinking and open up to fearless acceptance of bigger, brighter, more radical, and more potent possibilities of creativity, creatively living your light in the world, a sign that you are cracking out of your limited thinking to allow for a big, bold vision to come to you is that you might feel a little dizzy with the shrinking limitations and expanding expanding possibilities of life. You may wonder if you are allowed to access so much wonder. Remember that in your healing and growing success as you manifest this big vision, you can touch the hearts of others through your presence, your inner work, your art, and your choices. It's a win-win situation. Those that are meant to live big, bold, and visionary lives need to give themselves permission to break the mold and forge newer, more expansive perspectives of what is possible, what is permitted, and what is of service. It's about letting go and opening up. Others will benefit from this. Even though it's your vision, it's not just about you. You are being asked to remember that when something is right for you, endless synchronicities and support will flow your way at the right time and in the right way. Stay open, receptive, playful, and surrender. This oracle brings you a message. You are about to receive or be invited, be invited to become a part of a grand visionary beginning. It has the makings of something fantastic. No matter how the journey that brings this vision into reality unfolds, and there will be some twists and turns that you don't see coming, it is still helpful for you to be open to it. Trust your heart, be still with your choices, and when the time feels right and truthful, leap. Leap. This oracle brings a message for those who would like to further develop their intuitive sight. It's already happening. Trust in what you perceive. Please. Even if it conflicts with what everyone else around you is saying or the surface of things, trust your inner perceptions. It says that. It says it. They are accurate and will be proven to be so later on. The healing process will help you with this. This oracle brings a general message of positive energy. Trust that things will come up roses for you. Even if everything seems to be in a bit of shambles right now, it's really just the essential mess before a truly spectacular success. Please follow your intuition. Talk to you next time.